Hey, good evening, y'all. That's Anthony Mitchell. Alright, so I'm walking around the apartment complex. A little man riding around on his bike. But it's funny, I'm getting ready to head out to Tampa tomorrow for the week for my modeling showcase. And I know it's a good thing or a bad thing, but most of the things I signed up for in the modeling, yeah, I'm too big for now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how it's going to work out. So I'll see what I can do tomorrow. But, because I'm not a plus size model, but I don't, I'm not a skin and bone little model like most models are. So let's see how that plays out. But I went to a veterans career fair down at Bell Tower two days ago. And the lady taking my um, headshot there was like, and she asked why I didn't arm me, and she asked if I um, dropped my resume off in the little resume raffle shelf on my. I haven't had a resume since I got out of the army. If I gotta get a job based off my resume, I don't want it. And that's why I've been in commission jobs. Cause. I just like selling life insurance, um, network marketing, whatever. The more I sell or the more I produce, the more money I can make. I don't have a ceiling on the amount of money I can make. I'm not letting someone tell me, oh, you, you can earn 12 bucks an hour, 15 bucks an hour, 20 bucks an hour, whatever you can make. You just come in, work so many hours, and you're going to make so much money a day. That's not cool for me. I broke this down for multiple people. Now, if you actually take the amount of hours you work in a week, compared to how much you bring on, especially if you get paid uh, bi weekly like my girlfriend, 37 hours a week, 12 bucks an hour. Mm hmm. That's about the amount, the amount of money she brings home every two weeks. A little less than what she brings home every two weeks. But if she's actually making how much they said she's making an hour, she'd bring that same amount home every week. So look at this way. Alright, if you get paid bi-weekly, one week you're basically working for the government because all that money goes for taxes. And then the second week you get paid for. I'm not cool with that. I like getting all my money up front. I like everyone's so excited at tax time when they get their nice tax refunds. I don't want money back. I don't want to owe anything. I don't want nothing back. That means I got all my money throughout the year. Like I said, I don't have a 9 to 5. I don't want one. I have a conversation with my mom. Because apparently I don't show a lot of stability. Because I don't have a steady paycheck coming in. My income fluctuates with how much money or how much work I actually do. I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm okay if I make 25, 25 cents a day. A dollar a day. I don't care. I will make a little bit of money every single day. But at the end of the day, I still have a nice little chunk of assets. I keep accumulating more and more assets, and I keep investing all my money. I, I don't like carrying debt. I keep paying off all my debt, and then I tack on more, like uh, the Vegas trip for my girlfriend's birthday, this Tampa modeling trip, so another two grand I'm adding on, but eh, whatever. At the end of the day, my debt gets paid, my investments get funded, and I still don't have a 9 to 5 job. I said, there are plenty of ways to make money out there, y'all. Find a way to make you money that makes you happy. That's like I think I was watching um, Meet Kevin's YouTube channel today. Time out. Alright. If someone asks you, how can you make 10 grand and do what you currently do? If you work at McDonald's, Walmart, or any typical nine to five job, you can't make 10 grand a month. It's not feasible and it's not possible because of taxes and the limited amount of hours you can work. It's not feasible, but if you're in a commission based job, say you're selling real estate, if you want to make 10 grand a week, go sell a house. Anthony. Alright, little man. Alright y'all, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I still think I put out some, some good content, 
If not, maybe I'm motivated to actually get off your butt and do something productive with your life. That was like my last video. Someone disliked it. I guess they didn't like me talking about not wanting to work for somebody else. I don't know. Y'all have a wonderful night. See you in a couple days. Bye, y'all.